次のニュースは、Hunter x Hunter episode 96しているユーマ。Oh no, they're out there. I had some kind of false hope that we could keep it under control. Yeah, it really is like a plague. They don't send a chance. It's Nan or nothing. Imagine the horror of this as like a normal person. And I have terrible fashion. <laughs> He did an interview? Damn, this guy. I did his king of PR. What more proof do you need? He's a lion wearing a skull and bones t shirt. Oh no. Okay. Surely now, surely at this point, it's all hands on deck for NEN users, right? For Hunter Society? Okay. This is amazing. I love this. I was a little bit spoiled on it because on the Crunchyroll loading screen, there was a little thumbnail of them, which sucks for reactions, but God, did it make me happy to see when the camera was off. But anyway, it's just so cool to think that the, the Phantom Troop, who I secretly love, these villains are joining the fight against a common enemy, which also gives me hope that Uncle Hisoka might be lurking somewhere. I mean, isn't this Hisoka's erotic wet dream? All these disposable creatures of really high Nen potential. Why are his sights not set on the king? All in all, it's a great reveal and really, really great writing choice. And is it safe to assume they have restored Corolla's powers by now? Episode 96, AX, Lawless X Home. It's about time. Oh, please, please let this be a Phantom Troop episode. Amongst the best nations. Is this Garbage City? Probably like Garbage City might be the one place that's safe. What they weren't expecting was Garbage City. Oh, oh sweet home. <laughs> that sweet, sweet smell of trash and scum. Home is home, am I right? Uh, leave it to us. You know what's weird? I think the show has sort of hinted at this, that even though it's this really awful place full of people with not a lot of hope for their lives, there seems to be some gems that have formed out of it. I have no idea how much this speaks to the, the place as a whole, but we definitely see that from the Phantom Troop. There's some possible positive they can form from going through intense challenges with other people that you each know, you all know in the group that no one else will understand. I mean, they may hate this dumpster heap that they live in, but it's their dumpster heap. The second someone comes in to attack it, that's probably why I feel like they have a half decent chance of banding together and fighting off the invading ants. I think a very low stakes way this is often emulated is when organizations or groups or whatever create artificial difficulty as a screener for people entering. The feeling that you worked hard to get access to something and the idea that it's scarce has a way of signaling to your brain that it's more valuable. I mean, going down that road it makes it highly applicable to a lot of things including romantic relationships material gains in life victories what have you what is this this is new right thank you dr hieroglyphics oh this is uh the replacement he's he's a replacement for pakunoda so much for solidarity and camaraderie. Maybe it's just the Phantom Troop. Oh wait, what? Where did he get the helmet? I didn't recognize him. Where did he get the hat? <laughs> Thanks! That totally threw me off. Phantom Troop is back. I believe them. Oh, this queen has a different tact than the first one. The other one was content to just like hole up in a dank cave and eat fish. Oh, it's... It's her. That's why. Same here. <laughs> Same in my family, no. That'd be terrible. No, that's not true. It's totally true. Death by Snoo Snoo. This is not Snoo Snoo. That's why they're becoming monsters. That's her Nen power. Now I understand the inefficient laying of eggs thing. You mentioned that. 
ご自由にお入りくださいってか。Either overconfident or they like people coming in so they can create new soldiers. Okay, so Crollo is not back yet. Please kill him first. Please kill him first. I was getting her stomach ripped in half. Oh, look at that too. Uh, also bad, I guess. <laughs> I really don't like. I really don't like this. I really don't like this kind of thing. Oh, Rob Rice Titan all over again. Cool. What are you doing? <laughs> What is this? I like nothing about this. <laughs> ユドンドンド族の末裔であるギュランドン is a place I would love to go 動きの強弱で多様な音を出すことができる Human woodwinds メロディーを戦闘力に変える Okay, he put clothes on That's better Oh no, the fish ant It was my favorite <laughs> Uh, okay, Vulcan Raven Uh, okay, Vulcan Raven Oh good, my favorite fish. And there's so much to do. There's just so many enemies. Good, I like that outlook. That's true. In a way, there's a similarity between Shalnark and Knuckle. It's an overpowered ability, but it's sort of a key flaw in that you need contact. I've never seen Shalnark pressed about anything, ever. Go figure, he's an absolute physical beast as well. And now he's on our side. What? Why? Got it. Makes sense. Very similar. Alright, for a second there I was worried he was going to get sliced in half. Shalark is one of the people in the Phantom Troop that would make me the saddest to witness die. Oh, this is Gunjack's power in Tekken. So one at KO. I think it's five, a five count. Yeah, he's loading up. And it's unblockable, for the record. You don't have to honor your- I mean, I don't want to root for the Zan at all, but you don't have to honor your promise. Okay. He had no chance. He's got shattered. We got it. <laughs> It's awesome, though. Speaking of similarities, I mean, a little bit of going in there. I wonder if he also has figured out the weakness and found a counter to it. Uh, Shalnark. Help it, Shalnark, for the love of God. I wonder if Winding Arm is cancelable, or if you can unleash it at any time. With the Gunjack move, you can unleash a hit at any time, but it only becomes unblockable and a one at KO. I think it's a one at KO, after the fifth rotation. This is as of Tekken 5, I don't know after that. It's a lot of fun to use. From the looks of it, your body's gonna start making flute sounds. You can do a duet. Man. Speaking of going similarities... Hell yeah! Damn right. Bro, Shalnark just gets better and better. Unbeatable spirit, FU energy. I'd rather die on my feet than live on my knees. The man. He can move the remote. How many things can he control simultaneously? I think a bunch, right? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh! Whoa, this is interesting. Self manipulation. That fits. Honestly. <laughs> this is awesome. This is so cool. Oh my god, I loved him before this. I didn't know he could be Goku. What? 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 He's just, he literally is just a Saiyan. What? Muscle aches? Oh, I mean, <laughs> I don't know if that's such a big price to pay given some of the other conditions like 
instant death. For all that, man, I don't know. I thought Knuckles' power was a, a dead ringer for, for my favorite. That's pretty incredible. I was always naturally drawn to, to Shalnark. As many different ways as there are to define intelligence, the more I experience, the more I think that maybe the, the measure that's most appealing to me or valuable to me is figuring out how to navigate life and manage yourself to the point where you're generally content or fulfilled or engaged, where you've become mostly or largely the locus of your own life satisfaction, let's call it, for lack of a better word, though it's more than that. In whatever way is best suited for you, given your particular demeanor and disposition circumstances, there are an infinite number of forms that can take. But nevertheless, given what you are, just putting together the pieces you have in a way that you're just solid. Or maybe intelligence is a red herring. It might not be the right way to frame it to begin with. But Shalnark just so undeniably has that. I've always loved that about him and respected him for that. But then to hear that little mini speech about how, you know, I'm going to live on my own terms or nothing, my respect only multiplied. And then I think it's symbolized really nicely by the fact that his ultimate power is essentially self-control. The Nen for him works on a symbolic level and that that unleashes his strongest power, which just so happens to look and feel amazing on screen. Should have had more faith. There was no need to bail him out. For a lady, you say. Interesting power. Well, first of all, I don't think it's a little girl. And the Zoldic theme. I see. All those paper tabs. And they have a, a broad range of applications. We're seeing a consistent idea here. Where one big weakness of the ants is that they don't have a lot of experience and exposure with men. They continuously underestimate. Paper beats steel. You think you're gonna beat me with a steel cord? My parents beat me with steel cords every day of my life. Meandering dance. This is probably going to be one of those multiple translation things. Don't need to bail out Kaluto either. <laughs> is this a metaphor? <laughs> is, her, is this a comment on her outfit? Because I was thinking earlier that in contrast to Shalnar, her over... This, her emotional extravagance is telling of sort of a, an emptiness. She's hiding nothing, much like her outfit. Is whistling him to death? As a beast tamer. This is also manipulation. But don't let him get away. Not as fast as sound. Yeah. Okay, all right. Despite the fact that we've been, we've been introduced to the Phantom Troop, this is really their power debut, I feel, in a lot of ways. We saw a lot of them fighting just, you know, normal human mafioso. Nice. <laughs> it's that uh, Final Fantasy VII attack. Supernova, sort of, not really. Oh no, my favorite fish ant character. No. Thanks, no, please cover up. That's impressive with a vacuum. This is our dumpster heap. AKA Trash City. Short work, as I thought, as I expected. It's a huge relief. Finally, finally someone is doing something. Beside like the four people who are allowed to know about the ants. Anyone who doesn't show up for this is culpable for deaths. They got blood on their hands. Looking at you, Jing, potentially. Looking at you, Hisoka. <laughs> Not that Hisoka would care at all. But come on, the Hisoka's gotta show up at some point, right? This is Hisoka's wet dream. He could show up for dodgeball and not overpowered ants. I'm still buzzing. All right, this episode was great. Highlight for me by far, in case it's not obvious, was Shalnark. I could re replay that moment over and over again, where he's pinned by giant insect pincers, ant pincers, and his line is, I'd rather die than follow someone I don't respect or like. I've been feeling that way lately. I've been realizing from recent experiences how much my freedom is worth. The financial value of it just keeps going up. And I think there will be a point at which there is no financial value on it. Assuming, you know, a bare minimum of like food. It's kind of perfect. It's exactly what I needed to hear or maybe wanted to hear right now.